Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. So let's see how we can use the thesis application uh, to import some AliExpress uh, things here into our website. So whether you have a website and the Shopify or you are into the Wix.com, it doesn't matter the site that you are into. Uh, actually, it's really, really easy to import the thesis application. You just need to go into the provider that has your uh, already your website and go into the dashboard and find your uh, application market so you can look for thesis that's right in here if you are into the Shopify you can look for applications and look for thesis you just go into add to site and it's totally for free guys so after you go into the add to site it's going to be sending you to thesis.com and now it says allow it to manage the stores and read basic size and business info I'm going to go into add to site in here it's not going to take uh, too much. So as you can see, I have the registration here. So what I want to do is to create an account in here. Or if you want to, you can use a temporary. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I'm going to use a temporary mail. So after I create here an account, um, it's going to be popping up this notification. I'm going to close this just for a second here. And now it's going to be redirecting me into thesearch.com into the authentication call back. Uh, it's not going to take more than 10 15 seconds depending on your internet connection and now it says link your store and aliexpress so here is our store in my case i will be using wix.com and let's try to link the aliexpress so let's go into the free planning here so i'm going to select this option it says successfully done so now that we just install the application from wix i want to scroll a little bit down and I want to choose the option that says AliExpress. Now let's try to wait just a couple of seconds here. I want to install the extension if you want to do that. If not, it's okay. You can leave those like that. So let's say I want to register. Uh, once again, I'm going to put my location. It's really important, guys, that you put the exact location you are currently sending into, because the dropshipping might be having a little bit of troubles, uh, just in case that you are not using your. Uh, uh, location here so now it's going to be sending me a full data code into my email here so let's try to do that real quick and after i verify my email is going to be sending me again into the alley tools and after that's going to be asking me for the grant authorization for the access to aliexpress.com services if you want to read that and take a look real quick in here i'm going to agree to the authorization terms and agreements here and I want to authorize this so we can continue now we're gonna go into thesis.com now as you can see here we are into thesis.com now as you can see we can find supplies here this is the supplier optimizer here but after that I strongly suggest you guys to set up your thesis account and added the Chrome extension but let's say first of all we want to import a product here so I want to uh, finish this section here so we can start sending just for example one or two uh, items here for our account so let's go into the Aliexpress and for example I want to go back I want to uh, click in here into the X section and as you can see this is the design of my website that I just created a few minutes ago this is for uh, sending rings so as you can see this is a very easy design so what I want to do is to kit to quit these products that are not existing here and I want to put some AliExpress uh, rings so let's go into the find suppliers and let's go for the keywords that in my case that will be some rings and I want to look for those and as you can see there are a bunch of rings that we can add so let's say uh, I want to look for maybe this punk numeric silver so it says import so I want to choose this one don't show this again uh, I'm gonna go into stay and let's say for example I want to import again this elegant gold color here and I want to import this one as well this one too and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more uh, let's say I want to add a few uh, just two more let's say for example this one and this one so now we want to go into our uh, imported list so if you scroll a little bit up you're going to see here the import list so as you can see we have four five six seven and uh, listed here so what you guys want to do is to 
uh, select here your item here I'm gonna select all of them and I want to push those to Wix so as you can see here is ring to you this is the number of the name of my website you can use the pricing rule if you want to if you want to de enable that so you can manually edit the product price on the desus uh, it's totally up to you guys so I'm gonna deselect that and I'm going to go into push to Wix so let's say if this one enables that so product is being sent while the product is being sent please do not modify the information of the product so I'm gonna leave the, uh, those like that so as you can see there are a bunch of failed things so I want to deselect all of them and I want to go into the edit product here so as you can see it says black rings uh, let's go into stainless steel rings for woman I'm gonna put trending I want to save that and I want to do the same thing with all the uh, items that I just um, importing here so what I did is to push just one of the item that I just imported here uh, for example I'm going to do this a little bit more quick so I want to edit this item here edit the product details in here so let's say the title has to be eight characters or less so let's try to delete this classic wedding rings for woman fashion uh, let's say we want to delete this one uh, as you can see it's a little bit more easier so I'm just gonna hit into safe I'm gonna close that or go into the push to Wix so I'm gonna go into OK now if you want to use the pricing rule you can do that as well so I'm gonna push that to Wix it's gonna take just a few seconds so let's take a look at what's happening here product has been sent it so uh, first of all let's go into the products here so as you can see these are all the products that are uh, already imported here so what I want to do is to select here uh, for example this item here add to the collection let's try to select the first tire I want to apply those so these products are just like an example I want to select those and I want to delete them so I won't no longer see them into my account remember to show the product in your online store here so I want to show it in my store I want to show this I want to show this as well and now your product was set as visible. I want to exit in here and let's see if my website shows already my items. So as you can see here is the drop shipping of the Ali Expressing here. So if you just want to start um, with your account, you can go into the manage section once again and you have to be really sure that the payment section uh, is now being already set in here. So I'm going to go into my settings if I want to and look for the advanced tools as you can see here the checkout settings I can select this option and that totally depends guys of what kind of payments you want to accept here in the store so as you can see guys you can now use these totally for free and you can import uh, your AliExpress items into your website so let me know if you have any question down below in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys if you want to see more about these application. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.